the existence of subatomic particles. In ancient times, a well-known theory by the name of theory of atomism was widely accepted. This theory was originally proposed by the Greeks, in particular a man named Democritus, who lived about 23 centuries ago. Democritus and the people that came after him assumed that the smallest unit of matter was the atom. The Arabs used to believe the same. The Arabic word, dharra, is most commonly meant an atom. In recent times, modern science has discovered that it is possible to split even an atom. That the atom can be split further is a development of the 20th century. 14 centuries ago, this concept would have appeared unusual, even to an Arab. For him, the dharra was the limit beyond one could not go. The following Qur'anic verse, however, refuses to acknowledge this limit. The unbelievers say, Never to us will come the hour, say, Nay, but most surely by my Lord, it will come upon you, by him who knows the unseen, from whom is not hidden the least little atom in the heavens or on earth, nor is there anything less than that or greater, but is in the record perspicuous. Al-Qur'an, chapter 34, verse 3. This verse refers to the omniscience of God, his knowledge of all things, hidden or apparent. It then goes further and says that God is aware of everything, including what is smaller or bigger than the atom. Thus, the verse clearly shows that it is possible for something smaller than the atom to exist, a fact only discovered recently by modern science.